And Jerry, from the sidelines, I look like a very comfortable, accomplished win for your team today. I'm buzzing at that. That's a brilliant performance. I'm, I'm really happy of the week, actually. I said to you on the coach, we've, we've had a great week on the training ground. There's no coincidence we put in a performance like that. But the biggest thing is, and we speak about it all the time, is that we've got We've got round pegs and round holes. We've got, you know, I've had to bring in a left back obviously because I wanted balance. The centre backs, one naturally left footed, one right. With your right back, the three in the middle of the pitch, we've done brilliant. And that front three is going to score goals. Um, three strikers playing narrow. You know, obviously Jacob's coming in, he's been so steady, seven out of ten. I think the whole team have been probably seven out of ten, couple eights and nines. Your talisman goes and gets two goals, has been a presence and a nuisance up there all, all game. And I don't think they've had a shot on goal. I think we've blocked a few on the edge of the 18-yard box, which you're going to do. Other than that, we haven't been troubled. So that is, for me as a manager, that's a perfect away performance. Two players back into the team, Cody Cook, head injury, and then thumps one in off, yeah. off his forehead on six minutes. A, a perfect delivery from Chris Lines. Yeah, no, great, great delivery from Chris. First, Kieran's made a good decision to play four when we win the corner. Um, we... We, talk, we talked about whether we're going to be a team that plays a lot of football or whether we want to be really effective and we were both, we had a balance in it. So, And set pieces, I think we've been really effective this year. We scored a lot of goals from set pieces and um, the delivery from Chris is, is impeccable really, but it's such a towering header with a lot of power from Cody. He's, he sort of stayed away from it in training. We've not, we've not forced him to head too many balls. Um, we worked on our defensive side of the game a lot this week, as I told you, and that looked really good to me. Our balance and our shape and our aggressive line was really good. So yeah, we were really pleased and of course Scotty does well to go and win a penalty after a great ball down the side from Luke Spokes and Cody Cook puts it away with real calmness under pressure, so fantastic result. Jordan Dyer forced off at half time, Jack Batten came on, I think he did barely anything wrong either which really helped. Yeah, no, listen, it's going to happen at times, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be injuries um, and we know that you know, at times when we have an injury, we haven't got 25, 26 players that can go in. We can just change a left back for a left back or a right back for a right back. Now, luckily, we had a centre back to go in there who was really capable. So Jack done a fantastic job when he went on. Um, but that's been the problem in the recent weeks. We haven't been able to, you know, we've been playing a centre midfielder at right back and we've played a centre back at left back. We've not had our number nine. I say all along, the recruitment's really good in the summer. And if we get everyone available, then this is a really strong outfit that's going to score goals. And if we can keep clean sheets, we're going to be really dangerous. Tough place to come this, you know, we've got to get up early. People underestimate that. The extra boys again up at six o'clock. But um, that's the best I've seen us at Concord away. And um, yeah, Chris's team, listen, they're going for a bit of a troubled time. I really hope he pulls through on it. I hope, he's, um, I hope he gets his team going. Everything seems to be going against them here and I understand how that works. I've been there myself. But um, genuinely, I, I, hope they, I hope they manage to pick up some results. Um, I had a good chat with them before and again afterwards. So, um, but it's about us now. It's about us. I think we've gone fifth in the league and that's fantastic. We've only lost one game in five and um, a clean sheet and two nil away and it could have been more. You can't, you can't be more happy than that to get some music on the bus and a few beers and a really nice journey home. Cody Cook, 11 for the season. I think adding up quickly in my head, 20 between them from men. Scott Wilson working ever so hard to win what looked like a nailed on penalty. And a, although the goal, you can tell a penalty is good because the goalkeeper basically full stretch going the right way and he still managed to find the corner. Yeah, no, it was a great move. As I said, Luke Spokes played a great ball down the side. We knew where the threat would come from us. Um, they didn't like being turned, so we played ever so well. Passes down the, the side, we weren't going to went direct it was good play and um yeah scotty gets across his defender once he's across his defender there's one going to be one answer either scores or he's going to bring him down for a penalty i love the calmness from codes again he's, he seems to hold it than me for always oh, seems like minutes but um <laughs> he's waiting for the keeper to make a decision someone's trying to put him off so he lets that guy out of his head he's got such a good process to penalties um and it's really pleasing to see so for him he said to me there in a perverse way he's kept him a bit fresh he's had that little bit of time out but he's come back in and played with such confidence with a massive gash on his eye. But so have all the boys, like I said, that was a... I'm really, really pleased with that tonight because, like I said, the week itself has been a really pleasing week to work with the boys. You were right, you said earlier you didn't think they had many shots on target. I think their first shot on target was from their goalkeeper, which sums up the clearance in the back, how, yeah. how resolute you were. And apart from Green bursting through near the end, really, oh, Joe Wright, his starting position as well was really good to alleviate some threats. Yeah, and we spoke to him about that. He doesn't need to be noticed in the game, like last week. He knows he made a mistake, but this week he didn't really get noticed other than all the tidy stuff he was doing. So mopping up behind, his communication was really good with back four his kicking was excellent today I thought really really good and um, he's a good goalkeeper a really good goalkeeper so that'll give him a lot of confidence um, like I say he's not had a lot of work to do there's not been a lot of saves but he's had to mop up and he's had to come out a few times and claim it and the corners of boxes so 
yeah, for all of them though, this will give us really confidence going forward. We said we wanted to come here and win the game. We wanted three points. The bonus is the clean sheet. And, um, and it's lovely tonight on a Saturday night, like I said, I've got a smile on my face because being sat fifth in National League South is, is no mean feat. And um, people say we might have had a bit of a bad time of it, but we've drawn a couple of games. We lost one at home we shouldn't have lost, but we're back on with a really positive performance away from home at Concord. You've now got a week to build on the next game against Chesson, who picked up their first win since the opening game of the season okay. after 10 straight defeats. They won at Hemel today, so uh, what sort of outfit are you expecting them to be? Well, I haven't seen a lot of them. I will now. I'll watch back all their games. Um, I know they've made a few changes Just since, a few. <laughs> since the start of the season. I say that with a smirk on my face. Um, but to go to Hemel, you know, I know what Mark's teams are like. That's, that's a tough place to go. So a good result. They'll have a threat, obviously. And what we've got to do, we've got to make sure we turn up with the same sort of display. Just because we're home at Twerton Park, it doesn't mean to say we don't have to be so um, effective in regards of playing forward and playing in dangerous areas. Just trying to win a game. That's all it is. In the end, people never really look at how you've played. But like I say today, we've mixed the game up fantastically well. We've, we've gone in long when we needed to. We've played, we kept the ball, played down the sides. Like I said, it's, that's the perfect away performance. It's starting to rain, so we'll let you go off. Well done for today. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, Mark. Cheers, yes. mate.